Let's walk through a demonstration to get you up and running in the cloud on RightScale. In this demonstration, we will briefly walk through setting up and launching a WordPress blog to demonstrate the power and elegance of launching an application in the cloud with RightScale. So as we get started, here is a quick look at the steps that we will perform to launch a WordPress blog. Import the server template, add an SSH key, configure a security group, create a deployment, edit inputs, and launch the server. Let's begin with importing the server template. To do this, navigate to Design, Multi-Cloud Marketplace, Server Templates. We now can view all of the available server templates in the RightScale Multi-Cloud Marketplace. To look for the server template that we will use for this demonstration, go to the search box, type in Bitnami WordPress, and then press Go. Now we will click on the title of the bitnami.org WordPress server template. And finally, click the Import button. Here you can see that the server template is now imported into your account. Now let's take a look at adding an SSH key. While the steps to create an SSH key and security group are very simple for the purposes of this demo, if you are not familiar with SSH keys or security groups, it might be a little unclear. So let's take a quick look at an SSH key. An SSH key is basically an authentication credential. In our example, it allows a remote computer to access the server running the blog application for things like looking at the operating system, checking some system logs, or making changes that are not performed in the dashboard. Please note, in the next steps, I will be creating an SSH key and then a security group. These objects are individually created for a specific cloud, and, since we are using AWS in this demo, they are also created in a specific EC2 region. So think of each EC2 region as its own cloud. EC2 equals Amazon Elastic Cloud Compute, that is, the public cloud offering from Amazon Web Services. Now we'll create an SSH key by going to Clouds, AWS US East, EC2 SSH keys, and clicking on New. I will call our demo SSH key, Blog Demo, and press Create. That's it for our SSH key. Next, let's take a look at creating a security group. A security group defines who can access your application once it's up and running in the cloud. A security group is essentially a firewall that can be configured to provide as little or as much access as you want to clients accessing your application. By default, when you create a security group for an application, there are no permissions to access the application. You can think of that as a firewall that no one can get through until you add access. So for our WordPress blog, if we just created a security group and didn't configure that security group, no one would be able to even view the blog. So let's create a security group and configure it so anyone can see the blog once it's up and running. To create the security group, we will go to Clouds, AWS US East, EC2 Security Groups, and click on New. Next, we will name our security group. The group description can be anything, and then we can press Create to create the security group. Now we are going to configure the security group. For many applications running in the cloud, configuring security groups can take some planning. And it can get a little technical, which you can maybe see when you look at the fields in the permissions area of the screen. But for our blog, it's a few quick edits and we are done. As I mentioned, a security group is configured to provide absolutely no access to any client, whether by IP, the address someone's computer is coming in from, or by service, web browsing to it, for example. Since the goal of our demo is to have a WordPress blog running in the cloud, let's configure our security group so that anyone can see our blog. Think of anyone as meaning they could be anywhere in the world from any internet address or IP in the world. And since our WordPress blog is a web application and something that people will browse to using Firefox, Safari, or another web browser, we want to make sure that we grant access for web browsers to see the blog. To do this, we are going to change one line in the permissions field and press Add. First, we add 80 and 80 to the ports fields, which means only allow port 80 or someone from a web browser to access the blog. Then, we want to allow access from any internet address in the world to access the blog. To do that, 
we make one change to the IPs field, replacing 32 with 0. Now, the IPs field reads 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, and in Internet addressing, that means any Internet address anywhere. Next, press Add. Now you have configured the security group, and the permissions are anyone from any computer in the world can access the blog with a web browser. Now let's create a deployment. To create a deployment, I navigate to Manage Deployments and press New. Now I give our deployment a nickname and enter a description. Now that I have a deployment, I will add a server to it. If you don't have a sense of what I mean by a server, just think of it as a computer on the internet or think of it as a website. It's a location for people to view your demo blog. Next, I click Add Server and select a cloud for my server. For this example, I will select AWS US East. Then, from the Add Server Assistant, I will select the server template that we imported for this demonstration and move to the Server Details tab. From here, we select the SSH key and security group that we created earlier. and then go to the Confirm tab. Finally, on the Confirm tab, we can save the settings as defaults for our deployment and click Finish. Now, we will click Launch to start the server. Next, we will edit the inputs for the server. Before the server will run, we have to supply some information the server template requires. So I will enter user for login, my email address, my name, and a password. This is the information that WordPress needs to first set up the blog. Finally, we will launch the server. Now we'll go ahead and save the inputs and launch the server by clicking Save and Launch. Save and Launch is used when you enter or change inputs. Launch is used when you already have inputs defined or don't need to change them. This server will now start to boot up. It will be operational in approximately 5 minutes after you launch it. This 5 minutes includes the time it takes to contact EC2 for the initial allocation of resources, as well as booting up the instance according to the server template you use. Now that our server has booted, we can browse to it by clicking on the public DNS. And we are done! You have a publicly accessible WordPress blog up and running in the cloud. The blog is now fully functional, ready for you to add content. Thank you for taking the time to view and follow along with this module. We hope that you have found it useful in getting started in the cloud, and we look forward to working with you and hearing from you in the future.